This video is to look at the requirements for the interpersonal unit paper that is due at the end of this class on Saturday, July 29th. It is worth 75 points. As you have probably noted from the syllabus, there are several things that are due at the end of this class. If you would like to complete this paper early and submit it before the end of the class, you are welcome to do that. The submission for this paper is located in the week five folder. So if you finish this paper during week three or week four and you would like to submit it, just go to that week five folder and find the submission there and go ahead and turn it in and I will get it graded as soon as possible. So for this paper, you are going to be having a conversation with someone that you are close to in your life and then you will be taking that conversation and relating it to the topics of communication that we are covering in this class. So the first thing you need to do is to decide who you would like to have a conversation with. This could be a friend, coworker, family member, really anybody that you would like that you have a close relationship with. Once you have decided who you would like to talk to for this project, you need to go ahead and have that conversation with them. Your conversation can be about anything that you want. It does not need to be about this class. And in fact, I encourage you to not talk about communication and what you're learning and those types of things. Try to keep it to the things that you would normally talk about. So figuring out plans with your spouse for your kids for the week or talking with your friend about what you did over the weekend, planning a vacation for later in the summer. These are all things that you could potentially be talking about. I want it to be as natural as possible between you and the person you are talking with. A couple of things to keep in mind while you are completing this conversation. You do need to record the conversation. You can do that on your cell phone or on the laptop. If you would like to have a video recording of the conversation, you are welcome to do that as well. Make sure that you that the other person knows that they are being recorded and that you are going to be using that recording as the base for your paper that you're writing for this class. If they would prefer to not be recorded, then you probably need to find someone else to have a conversation with. <clears throat> it is good to choose someone who is over the age of 18. Your book is focusing on adult relationships, so it, you should be having a conversation with another adult. If you are a young adult who has a friend under the age of 18 that you would like to use for this project, please just let me know and we can talk about um, that on a one-on-one -on -one basis. You need to have your conversation be at least 25 minutes long so that you have lots of information to draw upon for your paper. It's also important because oftentimes it takes a while to get into the groove of a natural conversation when you know you're being recorded. It can start out really clunky and people feel uncomfortable. So give yourself time to ease into that more natural conversation pattern. After you have finished recording your conversation, it is time to take a look in depth at this conversation and decide how it relates to the, com to the topics from our textbook. You need to choose at least three topics. These topics can be from any area of the textbook that you would like. They can be from the interpersonal um, section, but they don't necessarily have to be. I give you some ideas of what you could potentially use here. So things like eye contact, models of self-disclosure, confirming messages, supportive behaviors, love languages, types of friendships, and the list goes on and on and on. So you can use any topic that you would like as long as it relates to the conversation that you had and it can be found within our textbook. So I've given you an idea of how this text or how this paper should be set up. So I'd like you to start with an introduction. So this is where you tell me who you spoke with, what is your relationship with this person, what did you talk about, and um, anything else that you can use to describe this person. The body of your paper will go in depth about those three topics from your textbook. This should be about six paragraphs. So each topic should be two paragraphs. One of those paragraphs will talk about what the text says, and the second paragraph will talk about how your conversation relates to what the text has to say. So for example, if you used eye contact as one of your topics, 
you would use references from the textbook and talk about what the text says. This should be direct quotes and summaries. In the second paragraph, you would use examples from the conversation. So if it were me, I might have something like, when my husband and I were discussing plans for the weekend, I was avoiding eye contact because I didn't really want to go on the camping trip that he was suggesting or something like that. So I would make a specific reference to the conversation that I had. You'll do this for each of the three topics that you choose. Finally, you need some sort of conclusion. This is where you have a brief summary of what you covered in the paper, and it's good to include anything that you learned, any sort of takeaway that you have from this experience of diving deep into this conversation and analyzing it with the lens of interpersonal communication. So I include how you earn full points as well as ways that you may be deducted points for this paper. <clears throat> I do encourage you to utilize the Writing Center for this paper, and you can earn extra credit if you send me a, um, some kind of evidence that you visited the Writing Center, so keep that in mind as well. If you have any questions or concerns after watching this video and reading through the handout, please make sure that you reach out to me and I will answer any questions that you may have.